Jennifer here and a long time no see. The last time I uploaded a video was last year at the end of December, so it's been a while. Long story short, after finals I had a very short two week break, um, which is not nearly enough after first quarter of college. So I really took that time for myself and right off the bat, winter quarter was kicking my butt. I was taking, or I am still taking those very challenging courses. For me, the hardest ones being statistics and microeconomics. Those were subjects that I'd never had experience with before. So they really just kicked my butt right from the start. There was no way just making content, doing anything, hanging out with friends, going out of my house wasn't even something that was on my mind. So that explains my absence, but I'm so, so excited to be back and I really hope that you guys enjoy this weekly vlog. All right, I'm gonna stop rambling now and I hope you enjoy the vlog. It is currently Saturday, February 27th, 7.56 p.m. and I am about to make my breakfast for tomorrow morning. I'm gonna show you guys the recipe that I've been making for so long now. What you need, some chia seeds, milk of your choice. My favorite has been Oatly. I've been using this for a year now and I cannot go back. Sweetener of your choice. I usually use honey, but today I'm gonna be trying out maple syrup. Any fruit you'd like, if you wanna add some frozen fresh, I'm using frozen blueberries. So after you've put all your ingredients in, you're going to wait about five minutes before giving it another stir. Now it goes in the fridge until tomorrow morning. Good morning guys. Bright and early today because I am actually going to a Barry's class. If you don't know what Barry's is, it is a gym slash workout class that you can go to and I've been going for almost three weeks now and I really love their workouts. I find that for me at least, it's super great to be able to schedule in something like a workout in the morning because you'll be held accountable to wake up early. And then afterwards, you feel like your day is off to just the best, most amazing start because you're energized and you're feeling productive and it's super early and you've already checked something off. So that is where we're going right now. I've been coming alone, but she decided to join me today, so that's always fun. We showed up in the exact same outfit. This is completely unplanned. We finished our workout, and now we're doing a little lunch. We got an Eggs Benedict with some iced coffee, and Olivia got avocado on toast and a smoothie. Back home, just showered. Legs are definitely feeling very jello-like but it feels good. It's good to know that you've worked hard. I'm gonna try this new lip scrub that I got. The packaging is definitely what sold me. This is by Frank Body. I love their face mask, so I have high hopes. It smells amazing. And of course, some moisturizing. And then the rest of my skincare. Showered, stretch, feeling good. Now I'm going to be getting some work done for school. I'm gonna start with doing a lecture and some homework for my linguistics class and try to take it easy today because I have this problem where I just overload myself and make myself work nonstop, which is something I've been trying really hard to work on. So I'm gonna limit myself to that one task and then relax for the rest of the day. little bit later it's actually 5 45 and for the last little bit I've just been editing this vlog actually I actually didn't realize how much I missed editing and vlogging and just creating content also I just remembered I wanted to clear something up it sounds like I have a constant lisp I realized that now that I've been editing the footage and I don't think I ever explained but I'm actually wearing Invisalign for those of you who've been around for a little bit I used to have braces however certain things went wrong I'm not gonna get into the details but I've basically been wearing retainers or sorry Invisalign since the beginning of the school year maybe I honestly can't remember I feel like it's been since September October ish but that is why I have a constant list and I thought that I really needed to clear that up now I'm gonna get changed and head out for dinner with my family Alright 
guys, I am now back home and dinner was delicious for the rest of the night. I'm just going to chill, unwind, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is currently 11.06. On today's agenda, I have a lunch with my mom at one of my favorite cafes restaurants. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then I have to study for my statistics midterm that I have tomorrow morning. So this entire afternoon is going to be pretty much dedicated to just studying. So that's the plan and it shouldn't be too bad. I did want to mention, I usually never wear my glasses when I go out. But obviously I'm wearing them today and I'm actually going to be wearing them for the next three days because on Thursday I have a consultation appointment to see if I can get LASIK for my eyes. If you don't know what LASIK is, it is a visual correction small procedure. I have that scheduled in and the three days leading up to it, you can't wear contact lenses. So glasses are now a thing. Anyway, that's my little spiel for this morning and I'll see you guys when we go to lunch. been sitting here doing stats practice problems for the past hour or so not gonna lie it was super hard to get myself to sit down and do it we have two weeks left until finals and then after that it's spring break so i'm really just ready for things to be over and for me to not have to do work anymore this is the final stretch and obviously i want to do well so we're trying to hang in there but it's going pretty well we're gonna keep doing these practice problems yeah i think we're feeling pretty good so far about the midterm this is my midweek update it is currently wednesday 3 15 and i'm gonna keep it real with you guys the last two days have been pretty rough actually and i didn't vlog at all yesterday because i just didn't feel like doing anything i finished taking my midterm in the morning and thankfully that went well but afterwards i just had no motivation to do my work and i'm honestly feeling a little bit burnt out which is horrible because i this is the worst time for it it's been really tough and currently i'm working on my linguistics lecture and homework for the week and i'm gonna be honest it has been a battle to get myself to do it because i just want to lay around and do absolutely nothing i don't even want to watch netflix or do anything like that i just want to not have to use my brain and literally just lie down that's what's been happening and i wanted to keep it real with you guys and share the ups and downs of online college or just being a college student and i'm sure it's common especially if you go to a school that has a quarter system even though it's the same time frame it just makes everything feel so much longer like the fact that I have another quarter to go. It's just making me lose my mind a little bit, but we're gonna take it one day at a time. And right now I'm trying to push through. I'll keep you guys updated. Doing some much needed self care tonight. I thought I would share with you guys cause self care means something different for everybody. For me, it meant going on a run because that's the time I take to reset my mind and that was what i needed so that's what i did i was doing work this entire afternoon up until after dinner and at around eight o'clock i just had the sudden urge to go on a run a part of me was like i want to go on a run and the other part of me was telling me to just stay and finish my work but i thought that i needed to take a little bit of time for myself so that's what i did and it was great i feel so so much better now so this is your reminder to go do something for yourself if you're feeling overwhelmed because it'll surprise you on another note as you guys know i haven't been wearing contacts for the last three days and let me tell you i forgot how hard it was to see without my contacts in i was surprised at how much i just could not see especially in the dark but i was also pleasantly surprised at how much I didn't really need to see. That might sound strange, but this is a route that I've been running for almost five years now. So I knew it very well. And I just really didn't need the visual cues that I would have needed if I were someplace new. For the rest of the night, I'm going to, first of all, let this sit, wash it off. And I think I'm actually feeling good enough to finish off the work that I was doing before I went on a run. I'll see you guys in the morning. currently 
currently around one o'clock and I just finished up lunch. I'm currently on my way to go get my LASIK consultation. They told me the appointment is gonna be around three hours, which is honestly really long. So we'll see how it goes and I'll update you guys afterwards. I don't know if you guys can tell, but my pupils are super dilated. Hello guys, I actually never ended up filming an outro for this vlog, so I thought I would hop on really quickly. Little update, I actually have now scheduled in a procedure that's going to be taking place on the 18th. Instead of LASIK, I'm getting this new procedure called SMILE, and I'm really excited because I just can't even imagine the convenience of being able to see it without glasses or contacts. That is just such a foreign concept to me. Obviously, I'm a little scared, but more than that, I'm looking forward to just being able to see. Anyway, I really hope you guys enjoyed this vlog, and I'm excited to be making content again. That being said, I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!